Hey everybody, welcome to No One Lives Under The Lighthouse, again. So, on my first video, I got a comment from Starez Games saying that there are multiple things that you- I sh I should, It should be on the screen now, I'll put the comment on the screen. The game's meant to be played at least twice. Uh, I found the short ending, and that I found a bunch of stuff. See, I thought that when I played the game, that was it. I thought it was just like a- I thought the game just- You did what I did, and then that was the game, but if I go into the- if I go into here, which I checked shortly after, when I got that comment, then I thought, oh, there was a whole bunch of achievements that I didn't even look at. But if you look here, you've got, um, you've performed the ceremony, whatever that means. You've proved your courage. That probably has something to do with, maybe I can work, f uh, work? Maybe I can walk further into the basement or something. So we'll try that. Now you rest in peace. Okay, that one sounds fun. Let's go new game and just see if we do things differently, if, if different things happen. I this is interesting. I enjoyed this game. Oh, that's right. This had like a really weird... Figured out how to play. Ah, E. I'm pressing F because I've been playing Resident Evil 7 again lately. I will take this. Ah, maybe I have to play the game without the light? Resisting the urge may be to not go into the basement in this part, maybe, because I'm not playing as the character that I'm meant to be here, so. This is a different guy. So if we just go up here, look out this window, look at that, very beautiful, look at that, very beautiful, let's go, let's keep going, it's creepy. Also, this is a, uh, this is classified as a Lovecraftian game, hang on, let me have a look. Is this classified as Lovecraftian? Eh. Eh, go, store page. Yeah, Lovecraftian, right. I recently, I, I've never, I had never read Lovecraft before, but um, I recently bought a book. What's it called? <sighs> I reach for it. Hang on. <sighs> Tales of Horror. You'd think I would have just remembered that. Cool. So, I bought that book to check out some Lovecraft stuff because I've never read Lovecraft before. I think I already just said that. Anyway. And uh, I read Call of Cthulhu for the first time. So now I know what the hell that's supposed to be. Like, I never even knew what Call of like Cthulhu was. You hear about it in so many things. And I, I always remember thinking, like, what, what is that? What does that mean? Now I know. I mean, I knew that it was like an octopus guy, some sort of cult thing. But I never knew. I never knew the original story. It was pretty good, actually. I, I see why he's regarded as one of the uh, greatest horror Hori. What is Why can't I speak? I have no idea. I see why Lovecraft is considered one of the greatest uh, horror writers of all time. Which It's a shame that, a, uh, that that book that I just mentioned also has like his biography at the start. And he apparently lived a pretty depressing life. Which makes sense for all the creepy ass stories that he made up. So that's my house later on. What, what do I have to do here? Is that the call? Do I now answer? Maybe this is one of the achievements? Oh, hello. Oh, that's right, it's me. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's a funny silhouette. Somebody knocked for me. Hello? It's not going to show me the creature like this early on if you did this, is it? I think I've just ruined the achievement for not going into the basement. Because I remember I got an achievement when I first went into the basement, so... That was definitely a thing that I could do. It really goes to show that you don't really have to make like fantastic, awesome, the best graphics in a horror game in order to make it feel creepy. I mean, this feels pretty creepy. Horror doesn't really get me so much, but I can still appreciate the creepy atmosphere and stuff in a horror game and still feel like a bit creeped out by it. Oh, hello. Ooh, pretty. I like horror, in fact. I, I find horror actually comforting. I don't know if there's like some sort of psychological uh, weirdness in that, but if I'm playing a horror game and it's like you're on it as just like an island all by yourself like this and there's a creature, it's, just, it's relaxing, man. I want to be friends with the creature. I don't want to. I don't want to kill the creature. I don't want the creature to kill me. We should. We should just hang. What happens if I leave my briefcase behind? <laughs> Can I do that? Is that a different ending? Do I get the "you're an idiot, you deserve to die" ending? Is that an ending I can get? What a nice little place you have here. Also, where's the shelter? Oh, you found shelter where no one else has. Also, it's probably when you're running away from the creature. Is that a? Nope. Okay, never mind. 
Okay, from a distance, this looked like a, uh, looked like the shadow of like a penis or something. I, hello, this is my new home. Ah, I have to do this now. Technically, I would have missed this one, huh? You know, there's actually nothing here. It's just, I'm crazy. <laughs> I've got being alone for five seconds syndrome. That's what's going on. There's no moth. No moth man. Did I say in the first video, by the way? I think it was in editing when I actually realized that... What the? What the? Did that happen? I didn't notice that before. No one here. That was... That was actually pretty creepy. There's like a guy that just fell off the damn lighthouse and it's just nobody's here. I, it could have been the moth dude. He could have flown, flown away. He could have, could have, could have, he could fly, right? <laughs> I couldn't say flown. I was struggling to speak. It's scary. I'm scared. Hush. Actually, maybe this being on does a thing. Wait, I don't have the thing. I don't have the, the oil. Ah, oh, there it is. There is one thing I'll say about this game. When it comes to horror, this game definitely is doing it the right way because it's a video game and it's making the horror just creepy, you know, it's not... I don't think this game ever jump scared me when I played it through the first time. There was a moment where, at the end, where the moth guy showed up, where he was kind of just there when you leave the door. If that counts as a jump scare, then I guess that's a jump scare, but... I wouldn't really count it because he kind of... He was just there, and then I walk out, and then I'm there, and it's like, oh, there he is, so... You know, run away or shoot him or whatever. Spin, spin, spin the rope till it reaches the top. And when it's up the top, it will slowly descend and make the lighthouse spin or something or rather like that. Day one, complete. Like, shouldn't he be my friend? He'd be like, oh, yes, he's got the lighthouse going again. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Or is he, like, angry because he's trying to follow the moon? And he thinks every goddamn night when I can follow that moon and leave this crappy island, that damn lighthouse turns on because of these douchebag human beings. Ew. Am I the moth man? Is that what's going on in this game? Oh, my bag's here now. Ooh, nice lighthouse. Nice, nice place you have here. Hello? Is there anyone in here? Is there anyone in the basement? Oh, very, very dark in here. Very, very scary, yes. Not a Ah, oh, that's right, he broke my sacks. He cut my sacks off. No. Who's throat singing? <laughs> I'm on this island alone. I'm not throat singing, so somebody is. And then just from behind me. Or something. Or something. That's oh, oh, oh sorry, what? Oh man, I was right next to it. I did this before, didn't I? I remember this. I, I took the sack back up there. When I first played. And then I had to go back for the rope with the sack again. So I've made the same mistake. Come on. If he showed up right now, I would... I would drop this sack. My sacks would drop, man. And I'd run. But he won't. If he showed up, I'd, I'd be running with the sack. Because his character's stupid. So I think I'm realizing that... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that you still just have to do all of the exact same stuff in the game as I did when I first played, but it's just that you can do something different at the end, and it gives you a different ending. I don't know how this game saves, but I'm going to let the guy catch me on my way back to get the third sack, and I just I just want to see what happens. Maybe that's an ending. I shall take one more sack, thank you very much, yes. Now we walk the sack up to the lighthouse. We put the sack in the long shaft shape. Oh, hang on a second. I see, this game's a metaphor. This should be it. He should chase me, and I'm going to let him catch me. I'm going to turn around and embrace him. It's going to be romantic. Here we go. Ready? Here he is. Hello. How you doing? Oh. <laughs> oh. It just, it just respawns. Hey. Oh, I'm going to hug you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I hide in the crapper? Oh! <laughs> Gotta take a shit! <sighs> Where's the crapper? There it is! There's the crapper! Ah, oh, it's only time to take a shit! Oh, 
Oh, three dead sea. Oh, this guy's like a murderer. Ah, it's that's where another one of these. Are. Ah, see, I found it again. Jump in the water, Tim. Ah! <laughs> oh no, it can go through roofs, roofs, roofs. Hello. Ah, oh, okay. Now it's in the basement. That's cool. Okay, this could be a thing. This could be a thing. Maybe if I keep walking. Why have I lost my... Can I keep going? Hello? Hello? Can you show yourself to me? Okay, just gonna back up then. You, you, you have fun down here. I'll have fun up there. We won't have fun together, okay? Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, I actually saw him that time. Ah, oh, the, the Emperor. There you go. There's the... I cleaned up all the mess this time. I missed the first one the first time I played, so... What? You keep doing that. Does Do you mean like you want me to go say hi? I've got a hammer. I can put it in your skull if that's what you want. I'll go put it in your skull. I'm not scared. I'll go. Okay, so stop calling me then. There's an achievement for answering a call and you keep calling, but then you don't answer. So it's just freaking rude. Are you going to try to kill me or something? Are you going to try to kill me or something? I'm here to be murdered by you. I have a lamp. I'm not afraid to pour liquid hot oil over your body. <laughs> I will do it. You can believe it to be true. Uh, nothing is happening. I'm very, very confused. I have a lamp and a big, big lamp and nothing is happening. I think I will leave. I think I have to leave. And then the Mothman will try to eat my bumhole. I'll run away. I'll try running first. Then into the basement. And now I'm dead. Oh, here you go. Oh. It's like, oh, let me just go into here. Oh, hello. Okay, this is different. We, we did it. We did something different. Oh, he gave up. It's like, hmm, I wonder where he could be. He definitely wouldn't be where I live. That'd be weird. The Mothman's like, oh, there's a basement there? There's a base there was a basement here the whole time? Man, I could have been hiding out in this thing. I could have like stalked him and killed him in this thing. Okay, so that's different. That, we, we, I, I got a different ending. I really thought that it would just go the same and that uh, I would just get the same ending. But I, I, then I figured when I failed to get the shotgun, that would definitely mean that I wouldn't be able to shoot the guy in the face, which is definitely what I did before. Now this guy was shot. Ah, oh, previous keeper disappeared. No, he didn't. He ran into the basement. He's... Oh. Oh. Okay. More gang. <laughs> oh, he's around here somewhere, that son of a bitch. I'll run away now. He... What the? It's a labyrinth. How am I supposed to know which way to- oh shit. Go down deeper. Don't go down deeper, go straight. Yes, freedom maybe. Yes, I did it! I think I just wanted a big circle. Oh, I definitely just wanted a big circle. Which means he's moved. Uh. It's gonna eat me. Could I make any more noise? Is is this my life now? Am I to eternally wander in this sewer system? Okay, that makes no sense. I was just up this way and this was not a corner. Oh! Whoa, that was trippy. That was awesome. Do that again. No, do it again. I think I'm making progress. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah! Hoo-hoo! That's cool! Whoa! Oh, that gives me like a... That's cool. I like that. That's very confusing, though. 
please stop with this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what's this? Okay. Hello? Uh, oh. Okay, run time. <laughs> I could hear him behind me. What? What is happening right here? The map would be nice. Oh, okay, this looks the same. I've been here before. <gasps> no, thank you. <laughs> Gonna go the other way. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. You could try not doing that instead. That's possible. Oh, he has to catch me, doesn't he? Catch me, baby. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He doesn't. He's not. Okay. I forgot that you were a thing. I'll just climb and leave. <laughs> Okay, so I have to actually solve this maze then. Oh, you know what? You probably have to go left. Go on left then! Suck it, bro. Never mind, it's just it's the same. Whoa, hang on, it's a shortcut though. It's shorter than the other way I went, definitely. Maybe left was the secret. This way. This way. Well, that was it, apparently. The Empress. I don't know what achievement that's for, but that's an achievement. Oh! Did I just break my legs? Was I meant to fall? Will of Fort- What the- Are we sure I'm not dead right now? Do I just hop on the boat and just leave? What do you think? Okay, so it turns out... Turns out there's a lot more to this game than just the whole lighthouse thing. Am I the same guy now? Or am I, I think I'm a different guy. I think new guy, a different boat, and he's in the underworld or something. It's like, I'm not here to light the lighthouse. I'm here to light the flames of hell. It's like, okay, start with the lighthouse first. And he's like, all right, I'll start with the Four days is what I'll do tops, and then I will, or is it three days? Who even knows, dude? Who even knows? Uh, is that an, is that a, is that N? Is that a pyramid? Is that why it's called the Empress? This really is some Lovecraftian stuff. Uh, like I said, I've only read Call of Cthulhu so far. Now, I think I'm pronounced, is that pronounced right? That's how I've heard it. I think that's the only way I've ever heard it. Cthulhu. Is it Cthulhu? Is it Cthulhu? Who knows, man. But anyway, Call of Cthulhu. The, um, that, that is written in a way where it's very, uh, the horror of it's just, it's weird, you know, like it's, it's a, I think the guy, I haven't, I've, like I said, I've only read that one story, but from what I could tell and from what I've heard and just the way all of these Lovecraftian games go, I think that this is trippy. It's like I'm running straight, but it's like I'm going down. But, uh, Lovecraft is like, uh, his horror is weird. Oh, it's transitioning me. Okay. Now I go down the stairs of this pyramid and we we find out what what was it in the uh Call of Cthulhu story? It was um in the sea there's a hidden hello. You're not normal. Yeah, this is um Whatever the heck's happening here, this is very Call of Cthulhu inspired, not just Lovecraft, but like that specifically. It's gonna roll towards me, isn't it? It's like something that can roll. Giant bugs. Hello? Hello? Can I use... Oh, I've got it. Hang on. Get it. 
gonna go this way now. Left of chest, remember? What's with the puzzles? Oh. Oh. Ah, here we go. Hello? Don't. I've got a torch. Realistically, I would burn that moth that ran towards me. Would I not? If a moth ran at me right now, would I not just burn its face with this torch? Uh, why does it always... Oh, okay, that's a beacon, so now I know where I have been already, even though that doesn't really help when you have to run around 400 different circles in order to actually get somewhere. Although, here's a bug with another thing. Yoink. Oh, oh, this wasn't here just a second ago. Ah. I see it. Only leads around for so long. Oh. Now we'll go behind chest. I will light the beacon. Reveal your light to me so I can see where I've got to go in order to do beacony stuff or something. This didn't have any other openings. This is actually confusing now. <gasps> Uh, ah, oh, it's like a time limit. Does it only stay illuminated for so long? Oh, hello. Big stairs. Thought I ran off a cliff then. Jeez. I wonder when Moth Boy is going to show up again. I don't know how they're going to top the him being in the uh, maze sewer or whatever. Because that was kind of creepy. Hello? That's ah, okay. I think it's just ambient sounds. I don't think there's actually anything here. It's all just designed to spook me. I mean, something will be here. Just not yet. Oh, I can miss the chest again, can't I? I can, I can fail to get all of the things for the chest. It's an optional thing. Maybe having the torch on is a bad idea. If he's a giant moth, wouldn't he be attracted to my torch? Wouldn't he be sexually attracted to my torch? Shouldn't I? The High Priestess. There you go. That's an achievement to uh to light up all of that. Oh, shush. What are you going to do? Kill me? <laughs> Something that you've done a thousand times before already anyway. It's not scary anymore, you stupid moth prick. <laughs> what an idiot. Does he think he scares me? Oh, hello. This goes up. Oh, they, the bugs actually, these are the guys, they moved. Clever. Clever girl. Found it. Has to be this one. Seems very close, I don't remember one being so. Ah, oh, no, I got it already, so therefore I, I should have remembered it. Oh. Damn, I've got ten minutes to play. I'm going to have to turn it off and do it again another day. I was hoping to do it all in one sitting, but oh, hello, did I? Oh, this is the same one I've already seen again, isn't it? Ugh, I really should pay attention. I really should pay attention. <coughs> I just inhaled saliva. <coughs> Not a good thing to do. Whoa, kind of jumped a little bit there. Here we go. Don't ah, this is it. This has to be it. 100%. Yeah, I got it. Okay, now there could be a creature. Now there could be a creature. There's probably a creature. This will be the shotgun, won't it? Haha! Lighthouse, eyeball, larvae, moth. And it releases moths. Okay, cool. I shouldn't have done that. That was a stupid that was a stupid thing to do. Ah, was it a curse? Maybe maybe this is a flashback to some douchebag releasing the creature. Um Oh it is, isn't it? This is a flashback. Roll, roll, roll your boat till you reach that ship. That's the objective. Now get onto it. You have to finish the game eventually, you lazy twat. I, I, I lost it at the end there, I'm sorry. Is that the island that I was on? Whoa, okay, cool. Settle down. I think that was a flashback. I think that was a flashback to the guy. Whoa, okay. It's still a flashback then. So, 
what we just seen was the guy that I was playing as initially. He landed in the hole from being chased through that sewer labyrinth or whatever. And now this is a flashback to when this guy found the, the, the creature. It's very Call of Cthulhu-like, because that's what it's like. like uh, Cthulhu is a some sort of alien creature that's in the ocean, in a hidden city or whatever, and these people worship him. And then these, uh, uh, what were they? They were two, two sailors, I think, just two fishermen or something. They, they accidentally woke him up <laughs> and freed him. And that's why everyone had nightmares or whatever. That's why the characters in the story had nightmares initially. Oh, hello. Nice place you have here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. That's a very old-fashioned ship, so... And also, this is the same case that was uh, on the island, which the shotgun is inside of, if you actually get the shotgun. So, I figured it out. I figured it out. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. What can I say? I'm so humble, too. That's the best part. So humble. Okay, so this is like the Spanish or something. They're gonna... They're gonna say we need to put this on a... On an island with a lighthouse for some... <coughs> for, oh, oh, for some reason. What the... Ah, now I'm the fisherman! You got to go to this island, you got to... You got to definitely not fight the giant creature that lives there or something. Ah, oh, was the... The fisherman. Previous keeper disappeared. The fisherman was the guy who stole the chest, and he brings people here to, to feed to his pet. I figured it out. That's the actual plot. Whoa. Am I inside a cocoon right now? Is that what's happening? Or am I just underground in some sort of disgusting cesspool of disgustingness? Death. What? I'm under the butt. Oh! What? Why was the thing under the... Am I the creature now? <laughs> what is happening? There was so much more to this game. Oh, I have to go to the bed and he's going to cough up... He's coughing up black sludge, which means that he's... He's been doing this the whole time. Right? Is that the catch? Sleepy time. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Black sludge. And now he'll go to sleep. He's a moth, isn't he? He's a moth. Don't look in the mirror, man. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> I've become a larvae. Uh, what's happening now? Am I... I'm the... Cre I'm the creature. I will crawl across the inside of the lighthouse for some reason. Ah, I had to cut the rope. Okay, that makes sense. I'm I'm doing the annoying thing for the the guy that was sleeping now. I've switched roles. I'm the I'm the insect. So the, it was me that cut the rope the whole time. It was me that hid the oil. Dude, this game made you play as the bad guy before the last of us part 2. This game was ahead of its time. It shows you that swatting bugs is a uh, pointless, pointless endeavor. <laughs> Yummy. It's got potatoes or whatever in it. It was just me eating the whole time. I wasn't trying to sabotage. I didn't know any better. I was just hungry. I, I, I sympathize with this bug and care about this bug more than I did about Abby in The Last of Us Part 2. This is already done a lot better. It's funny because when I'm the creature, it's like there's no horror at all, you know? Like, you're not scared to be the creature or anything. Okay. Hello, it's me. 
<laughs> like how he's got a human face. Why does he have a human face? And then I turned into the into the Mothman. And there I am, about to chase him. Now I'm doing the chasing. So this moth, the moth that I'm playing as now is the one who's running away via time travel or something? Or is the one that I'm playing as, is the Mothman the guy who was the Lighthouse Keeper first? The one that I began the game as? I think that's what's happening. I was the Mothman. I understand that I failed. I'm coming back, Master, please. There I am. Hello. I did it. That's terrifying. Don't go into that. The lovers. Oh, okay. Bow chicka wow wow. But that's not. He, he came back for more. Oh, okay. What the? Oh, I gotta be careful not to die. Oh yeah, this is hot stuff. This is some uh, hot, attractive stuff we have here. Oh, it's the beating heart. hell is going on in this game? Do I eat it? What am I doing here? Do I just have to touch this thing or what? Let's give it a little touch. Can I climb the wall? Oh, I can... I can leave. Okay, we'll leave then. Oh, there's another bottle. I just have to keep going. Ah, oh, I see. I shall do that then. We descend into madness, my friends. We are now the bug. You know, I oh, I kind of like being the bug more than a... You know that new game coming out called Carrion? It's marketed as like, oh, it's a unique game where you play as the monster. It's like, huh, no one lives under the lighthouse. Ahead of its time. But like, you play as the, the protagonist and the bug. Ah, uh, the villain. <laughs> Not specifically, the bug. Bring him to me. I will do it. Yes, master. Yes, master. Oh, that's the lighthouse. I see. What the? Oh, it's showing me where all of the things are, so that if you... Okay, there's one of them anyway, so... I will bring him to you. Yes, Master, I will climb the lighthouse and bring him to you. He will be yours or something. Hello. Now I chase. <laughs> ah, yes, my favorite song. The Mothman music of Moth Mothington. That's beautiful. <laughs> That was me being him saying the music's beautiful, by the way. Not him. That guy, he's freaky looking. He's like, hey. How you doing? Hey. Oh, you got a head start. That's not fair. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Ah, oh, he got away. Oh. Right, then you go left. <laughs> there you go left again. Oh no, it's a dead end. Oh no, I should have remembered the path. I'm gonna have to go the same way, ain't I? This way. Ah, oh, there you go. Got him. So, oh, oh. Is that what? Wait, didn't I? I jumped down the hole. When when I played, I jumped into the hole. Didn't I?
Oh, that's creepy. Red. Oh, that's really loud and obnoxious. Stop, please. Oh. Okay. Lighthouse fell over. I like how they just stop. And they're like, oh. Well. That really puts a damper on our plan. No One Lives Under the Lighthouse by So Woke Entertainment Bureau. Directed by... Okay. So there's that ending. I'm sure there's more. But uh, this will do for this video. Maybe I'll play it again. Dapper Tools by Dapper Dino. <laughs> That's just awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. There's a second ending. I'm assuming there are more endings. Yeah, I like that. I like this game. I, I'm, I'm glad I played it again because I didn't think that there was more to it. I thought that when I played it the first time, I thought that was it. I thought, okay, pretty fun game. I liked it. Interesting. I blasted that damn bug away with a shotgun. It was great. You know, roll credits, the end. And I thought, hey, cool game. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video, everybody. Goodbye.